So if you subscribe to the channel or you're new to the channel, what you've probably seen is that we show you guys a ton of homes that we flip and renovate. But what does a guy who renovates homes house actually look like? Lucky for you, I'm gonna take you on a personal home tour today. on in. So walking right in, my house is not very big to be honest. I have about a 2,000 square foot house, three bedroom, two bath. So right up in the front of the house, I have my two guest bedrooms and bathrooms. Let's take a look. So the first bedroom, we've actually turned into more of a gym. It's kind of got all of our equipment, everything that we really don't know what to do with. We kind of just throw in here, but you know, we come in here every once in a while, get it going. You know, we do. Next, we have the guest room right over here. My girlfriend stores a lot of her clothes and stuff, but we have a beautiful guest room to have friends and family over to stay. And right in between these rooms, we have a guest bathroom. You've probably seen a lot of this stuff on our other homes, a lot of the black fixtures, the subway tiles. I like to incorporate a lot of that into my home too, or even test it out first in my home before we do a renovation. Walking through the hallway, entryway into the main area of the house. This is the heart of the house. This is where we spend all of our time. Now, you'll probably notice, of course, a shiplap fireplace, of course, an LED fireplace. Yes, we put those in all our homes, and yes, I love them, even enough for my own home. So inside my living room, I'm giving you guys a personal look at a lot of the stuff that I like to surround myself with. And as you can see, that's a lot of color. So I have really, really cool prints up here on the wall. And then each individual shelf, I've kind of placed and kind of color coordinated them as well. I just love the look of that. It looks really clean to me. And of course, keeps some color in the room. Now let's move on this way over into the kitchen. We have quartz kitchen counters, all custom white cabinets that are actually flat flush panel cabinets. So when I actually bought this house, it was a KB home, a KB build, and they delivered me all of the items and finishes that KB delivers in their design center. Now, of course, you know I wasn't gonna be satisfied with that. So as soon as I got in here, I ripped every single thing out of the house and put in all my own stuff. Flooring, kitchen, cabinets, counters, repainted the whole thing, did the fireplace myself, even put in the floating little drop ceiling right here. I did it all, spared no expense. Moving on over to the kitchen side, we have another kitchen wall, it's my appliance wall. These are some of my favorite kitchen appliances right here, the fridge and freezer. This big Frigidaire six foot can actually be split into two, and that's what I did here. I got the freezer over on this side and the fridge on this side. And of course, in true Cribs fashion, you guys wanna see what's in the fridge? I actually don't need to open it for you because I have a glass front fridge. You can go ahead and see, we keep it clean. Keep it clean, keep it healthy. I got my KitchenAid microwave here, and of course, my wine fridge down below. Now, I'll spin you around this way, show you a little more my personal effects in the house. I got a nice live edge wood table here, but as you can see, I love plants. I have a lot of indoor plants, a dozen or so, all different kinds. I've grown them all myself. They're my little babies. And I think it brings a lot of life into my house, which I love. So one thing that I love obviously was the plants, but I love having natural light in the house. When I actually built this house, they gave me a window right here, which didn't really look at much besides my property wall. And this was actually flat wall closed off. But I know how the home is situated. The sun rises from the east and sets in the west that way. So I wanted to put a whole bunch of windows here with a wall of green outside so that it brought in a whole lot of natural light. And then my favorite window that I added is right there that gives you a killer view of the mountain. So the reason I wanted to put this window right here, square in this hallway, because when you open the door on the complete other side of the house, you see all the way through to the house, all the way through to the mountains, the view in the back, which I will show you later. But right now, we're gonna go into the master. 
So now that we're in the master, as you can see, it's a pretty good size master bedroom. Not too much, just me and my girlfriend in here so we don't need too much space. But you probably noticed the accent wall, that's something we do a lot in our renovations and in our homes. I put it in the guest bedroom, in the gym, and of course in the master bedroom bed wall as well. Nice little accent in the room just to liven it up a little bit. We keep it pretty eclectic with our furniture. Of course, I got some more plants in the room, but everything is kind of different, a little mismatched. That's just my style, that's what I like. So let's get into the master bath because you're gonna love this. So now we're walking into the master bathroom bedroom area. So let me show you real quick before we go anywhere. I know you're gonna look at this barn door, which we put in all our homes. That hides away our custom built-in closet that we share and we keep very neat. I promise we keep it just like this all the time. Have a couple custom items like some wood shelves that I put in, but overall the killer aspect of this bathroom is the gigantic shower. This thing is absolutely massive. You can have a shower party in here. The reason I wanted to do that is because the home came with a shower tub combo that really just wasn't doing it for me. And the situation of the actual, like the toilet and the sinks and the vanities in this bathroom was not optimized, nowhere near what it could be. So I actually had to move the toilet back. It was right here. I had to put it in its own room so that I didn't have to squeeze two vanities next to each other. I could separate them, give them their own little space. And we have a tub in the other bathroom in the house, so I really didn't feel like we needed it in the master. Instead, I wanted to give a big open shower, double shower head just like that, shower of my dreams. So the main thing that I wanted to show you guys is the piece de resistance. It's that view in the backyard, so let's go. Okay, so one thing I love is the double slider opening up the entire house right into the backyard here. I really wanted to make this patio area, even though it's not very big, feel a little bit custom. And so the one thing that I did was actually build this barbecue. Me and my dad came out here, built this ourselves. It's a nice floating countertop with a cool outdoor black granite. So as you guys may remember from another video we did on our Elk Clover renovation, it actually has, that house has the same structure here with the home and a pillar that we're thinking about connecting with a barbecue just like this. Just another example of stuff that I try out or we try out in our homes and then apply to our renovations. Love that thing, probably use it three or four times a week. The rest of my backyard is full of turf, lots of landscaping. I gave myself a little hitting net, a little hitting station over here. You know, it's very, very important after work. Come on out here and let off a little steam. Now this is my absolute, hands down, favorite part of this entire property. It's the view. So right now you can see across, this is all wash area from the Red Rock Mountains. This is this cliff that we're on and below it can never be built on. So we're always gonna have this view. It's never gonna go away. Something that absolutely wanna take into account if you're buying a lot with a view. Now, not only can we see all that, but if you peek right over there, you can see all the Red Rock Mountains as well. So let me spin you guys around here. Follow the turf this way. We have our outdoor seating area, as you can see. Kiki's over here, say hi, Kiki. Hey. This is where we love to have friends over, hang out, enjoy our outdoor furniture. We got our bistro lights set up. We can even use it at night. I absolutely love it here. So. You guys, I've showed you my entire house. I can't believe I took you on a personal tour. My bedrooms, my bathrooms, my living space, my backyard. But honestly, it's about time for me to go enjoy the weekend, so you gotta get up out of here.